Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. And today is Wednesday, March 20th. This is the full moon, new moon at zero degrees in Libra, spring equinox. And on top of that, we've got massive solar flares coming directly at us, which my spirit guides have told me is going to upgrade our DNA. So if you feel uh, shaky or, or, you know, purging, all those energies we were feeling before might come back around just to test you to see if you've done the inner purging, inner work that you need to do. So I really, really encourage all of you to take some time tonight, no matter where you're at, and make a list of all of the areas of your life, especially concentrate on your relationships and partnerships. Doesn't have to be romantic, could be business, could be family, but take a look at your relationships because this is the key um, energy, I guess is what I want to say. It's the biggest energy that, that this moon is going to hit. We're going to be looking at where we're at and where we want to be and where we're going. Anything that was loose ends or built on sand should be easier to get to um, release from. Oh, I can't concentrate because stupid train's coming and I'm trying to get it done before it gets here. But anyhow, just uh, I, I will link a video if I can find it again. I watched it this morning. If I can find it again, I'll link it in the description box. Take a look at it because it's big, big stuff. You need to make a list of what you want to get rid of and a list of what you want to manifest. You need to make your memory boards or your dream boards. You need to light a candle. You need to pray and meditate. Talk to your higher self. And if you don't know how to do that, trust me, they will talk to you. All you got to do is get quiet and ask, okay? So moving on, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. I'm so grateful for all of you. Today is a big day for me. I'm going to sit here and do readings and readings and readings until 4.30 when I have to go to physical therapy. Um, depending on how much information spirit gives me will depend on whether or not um, I get a lot of them done. Because if they're longer ones, you know they take forever to upload. Uh, but I am doing the daily vibe for today. It is a special daily vibe. Um, I'm going to read out of the book. I don't know what the moon card is that I drew. But I will read the actual moon energy out of the Moonology um, deck book. Instruction book. Just so that you guys will know if we didn't draw the energies that are actually going on. I will also read the actual energies of... Uh, along with whatever energy spirit told us was important for us under the Moonology card. Please, if you like this video, hit like. Um, hit the thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. Things are getting better. They're growing faster. I am going to be doing a lot of different types of readings now. And uh, let's just get busy, okay? This is the Daily Love Vibe. In order to... Um, really really get the most out of this reading you need to have someone on your heart and on your mind that you think is a true soulmate or a twin flame okay other readings that i will be uh doing and uploading will be general reads for the zodiacs for the week and it will also be general reads for for uh like pick a piles i'm just gonna have some fun with it I know I've been saying that for a couple of days, but dang, this physical therapy interrupts my day. Okay, so let's get cracking. What is going on under the Moonology cards? It says it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Okay, I know that's not the energy we're under because we're going into a new full moon in Libra. So I will read both because I think it's important. Okay, let me find New Moon and Aries. Okay, 
It's time to take action. The flame is lit. A wonderful new start beckons and you're on the right track. Drawing this card is a superbly positive sign if there is something you want to make happen in your life. Take this card as a big, giant yes from the universe. This is the time to really tune into your dreams. You may still have a long way to go, but you're on your way. Determination, self-assertion, and bravery are called for, but the hot fires of Aries is driving you towards success in whatever endeavor you're asking about. The caution, don't go too fast and forget your manners. Treat people well as you charge towards your goals. You'll create much better karma for yourself. Attune to the moon. Don't even think about giving up. You are almost there. Do your best and be happy with that. Avoid being brash right now. You need a 12-month plan and a new male is coming into your life. Woo -woo. And I guess if you're male and you're watching this, then it will be, you know, anybody and everybody that resonates with you. Uh, let's see, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, so the new moon in Aries is the first of the 12 or 13 new moons of the year. If you're committed to working with all the lunations, then the new moon in Aries is the right time to start. Drawing this card, no matter when you do it, signifies it's also the ideal time to start your moon work, such as setting your intentions. Exactly what I told you guys, you got to set your intentions. I don't care if you think it's voodoo, hoodoo, it's not. It's just simply when you think about something and you marry it with desire and you take steps toward it, it's how you manifest in this matrix uh, energy that we create through on the earth plane. All right. What it actually is, is the new moon in Libra. It's also a full moon. Huh. So, you know. Hey, I got all day. Let's take a look at it. New moon in Libra. I don't really have all day, but I have quite a while here. Uh, Libra. I lost it. Hold on. So the real energies that we are underneath is a new romantic cycle begins new moon in libra give and take could well be the answer to whatever dilemma you're asking about compromise may be called for it's time to start negotiating or even renegotiating when the new moon in libra comes up there's a restart for you and for someone else a new relationship could be beginning and if that's the case the chances are this will be a healthy and well-balanced connection and anything you do after pulling this card, doing it in pairs is advised, such as teaming up with someone in your business or in your personal life. Libra is the sign of relating, and this card suggests that whoever is at the heart of the issue you're addressing is someone who will be open to talking things through. Avoid being selfish. It won't get you anywhere at this time. Reach out to someone and let them know you care. Feel more think less. Marriage or engagement may be on the cards. A legal matter will go your way. Pay some attention to your appearance, but don't be all about your appearance. Libra is a sign of love and harmony, negotiation, relationships. It is harmonious, kind, and luxurious, and always aiming for balance. So when we have the new moon in Libra, or at any time you draw this card, there's a restart possible for anything and everything connected to partnerships, negotiations, appearances, and justice. Remember that Libra is depicted by a set of scales. This energy wants to bring things back to equilibrium. All right, so we've got it's time to take action and a new romantic cycle begins. And now I'm going to do full moon in Libra because it's also full moon in Libra. So we're going to look at that too. I'm sorry if I'm boring you. Please don't click off. This is important information. All right. Full moon in Libra. A win-win outcome is in the forecast. The full moon in Libra, the sign of partnerships, of falling in love, and of closely relating to someone else. Since full moons are about climaxes and conclusions, 
This card suggests you're either about to start a new relationship or that an important existing relationship is changing somehow, perhaps coming to an end or moving to a new level of commitment. It's important to remember that people come to us for a reason and sometimes just for a season. If relationships are ending now, it's doing so at the right time, so try not to fight it. This card can also refer to a professional relationship. There is a sense that you need to balance your ego with someone else's needs. A win-win outcome is possible with give and take. Doing so might be the answer to your question. Attunement to the moon. Let go of that which is falling away naturally. That's pretty cool. I like the way they worded that. Let go of that which is falling away naturally. Additional meaning, see the other person through the eyes of love. It will change your perspective. It's time for you to make a firm decision. Time for you to focus on yourself for a while. Look after yourself, but avoid vanity. Now is a great time for a makeover. No matter when you pull the full moon in Libra card, it encourages you to find a balance between your desires and those of the people around you. Balance is a very Libra energy and the full moon brings things to a peak. Dramas and upsets bring partnerships to the forefront. Libra energy also brings love energy and negotiations are easier. All right, now do we have Equinox in here or is that just... I don't know if they do Equinox. Nope, I don't see any Equinox so we don't have to read that. Moving on. Sorry, guys. I think it's important. This moon energy really is what is the catalyst behind all these weird emotions and things that have been going on with some of you. So it's important for you to know what that energy, how you can use that energy to better your life. All right. So what is going on in the masculine's headspace today? Aww. I think this is the star card, but I'm going to look just because this deck sometimes is not exactly what you think it is because of the way they look. See, it says light, and this is a deck I just started using regular, and I'm still learning it, so let's just take a look. Why don't we? We shall do that. Yep, it's a star card. Wait, 15, 16, 17. No, I'm sorry. It's the sun card. <laughs> this card represents money, affluence, wealth, and the realization of one's own desires. It indicates children and the positive values connected to them. The Archangel Suriel, the sun, the keeper of cosmic fire, excuse me, the solar system and the force contained in energy. It's the sun. All things yummy, guys. It's in the reverse in his headspace, so he's kind of feeling like uh, it's just beyond the reach. When the card shows up, it means the energy is there. It's just not in its fullest potential yet. So the sun card is, you know, it could be divine masculine because the divine masculine um, is depicted in the tarot by the emperor energy and the sun. The female is the moon and the empress. So it could be he's, he's not fully stepped into his divine masculine power. Could be that... Um, the happiness and joy that he seeks, he can see it on the horizon, but it's not there yet. It could be worrying about a happy, successful outcome. Okay, so I'm going to throw a clarifier on it to see what's going on. All right, Spirit, show us why the sun is in reverse and the masculine's thoughts in his headspace. Why is the sun card in reverse? Ooh, justice. <laughs> I 
All right, so you know, it's kind of funny. I think we're all waiting for justice. I don't know why these cards are here. Should I look at them? <laughs> wow. I, the, you know, it's the same cards we've been getting, so I'm going to put them back in here. If they're meant to come out, they'll probably come out here. All right, but the reason why he's thinking about the Sun card today is because he is also awaiting justice. Besides, this is a new moon, full moon in Libra, and justice, the scales, is exactly the energy that we're under. So that's pretty profound all in itself. And this Justice card has been showing up a lot lately. Maybe it's because we were waiting for this new moon in Libra at zero degrees, guys. Zero degrees. Today could be the day. All right. All this, this uh, equal give and take is on his mind. And happiness, peace, and joy, too. All right, so what is going on with the feminine? Oh, she's got the zero card. New beginnings. This is a leap of faith, guys. This is absolutely, utterly jumping off the cliff without any safety net just because you know something awesome is possibly waiting on the other side. This is a beautiful card. Beautiful card. She is thinking about bright new perspective or prospective beginnings. Wow. Sorry, I'm having a hard time talking today. I don't know. Mercury retrograde's still here. All right. So for the masculine's home space, what is going on at home? He's got the two of swords in reverse. So this was mental conflict about a choice that was very important in his home space but it's in the reverse so all of that could be cleared up clearing up or being worked on but a choice i feel has been made okay i'm not even going to clarify it because i know exactly that's what it means whether it means he's decided uh to divorce or leave a, a third party relationship or if he's making choices about you or if he's making choices about his home. Any way you look at it, the Two of Swords in reverse means that a choice has been made. Alright? So what does she have? In her home space. <laughs> Passion ignited in reverse. This is the Ace of Wands. Yeah, she just, she's not passionate at all at home. There isn't a whole heck of a lot in the home right now that is bringing her um, that the satisfaction of a new beginning, a new passionate beginning. It's almost like, a, like I said, the energy is there. It's just not in its full potential yet. So in her home space, it's lackluster. There's not a lot of passion. There's no new beginnings happening. But she can feel the energy on the horizon, just like he can feel the energy on the horizon. All right, let's see what is going on in the heart space. Aw, why are all these upside down? Maybe I should have looked at the deck. <laughs> I didn't look to see. Either way, we've got the strength card in reverse. And we'll, we'll take it as... It could be in the upright, too, because I really didn't look at my cards. I should have. Um, I don't always read reversal. Sometimes I do. But all of these seem to be in the reverse but one. So we'll take it as it comes. But we all know the strength card um, is all about taming your inner beast. It's about taming your desires, balancing your masculine and feminine energies, Um we don't tame the beast with brutality or, or overpowerment. We tame the beast with love and unconditional love. And, and it's in the reverse. I don't know if the energy, to me, it doesn't really feel like it's in the reverse. It feels like in his heart he's feeling stronger. All right, but we will take it both ways because, like I said, 
you know, there could be a lack of strength today. It could be this moon ma magical moon energy could literally be making the masculine feel a little bit uneasy and oh, spirits trying to give me a word and sometimes they try to give me a word that I'm not familiar with and I have a hard time getting it. But basically I feel like the masculine is just wanting so desperately to have the strength to move forward in his life and, and it's not quite there yet. Okay, he's still taming that inner beast. And if it's meant to be in the upright, we all know what that means. It means strength, courage, determination. All right, in her heart space is the Empress. And it's in reverse. And I really don't feel I should have looked at my cards because they're all in the reverse. So we're just going to turn these frowns upside down. Because when everything comes out in reverse, it's because I didn't set my deck I'm supposed to look at the bottom of the deck. All right, so we're going to look at it like the sun is shining. Justice has arrived. Libra energy is here. Decisions have been made in the home. Strength is in determination in the heart chakra. She has new beginnings on her mind. She has uh, poss possibly uh, new passionate <clears throat> endeavors on her in her home, maybe she's moving forward with things that, uh, her new beginning, that's what I'm hearing. You know, in the reverse, it's waiting on that new beginning. But in the upright, it's like it's coming. And she knows it's coming. It's there. She feels the ignition. And didn't this card, one of these cards that we read, the Moonology, talked about um, the fire has been lit. <laughs> and in her heart space, she's totally in her Empress energy. Totally. And I really do feel like these were meant to be in the upright, guys. I really do, because they were all in reverse, and that's just not right. So we're going to take a look here. We have, in the hopes and fears, he wants victory and success. Victory and success. That is the six of wands. Six of wands. That's... It's all about being recognized for the hard work that you've done. And it's literally coming home victorious from a long battle. So his hopes is to win, 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 win. All right, and she has the hanged man. Now, it was in the reverse, but like I said, I think they were all in the reverse. But I'm going to look at this as she... Whatever's coming, whether it's a conversation or communication on the 5D or 3D, it's going to bring her some clarity with thought. And there's a lot of emotion. Look at, she's like right in the middle of the stormy, dark looking water. But there's a rainbow over her head. The clouds look like flowers. And the shawl that she's wearing around her arms has little uh, holes and cutaways in it. So this is definitely, I feel, the feminine um, doing her intention work and going within and talking to her spirit guides and pulling herself out of this darkness, this emotional uh, discontentment and moving toward the rainbow and the flowers. Okay, this is literally intention work is what I feel for the feminine. So if you're watching and you do that kind of thing, this is what that energy feels like for me. This is releasing things that don't serve you. It's thinking about where you can align yourself for your peace and happiness. And it's going after what you want after a moment or two or three of internal inspection or introspection. Okay, so she's, yeah, this is a good spread, guys. I feel the energy is really amping up. Oh, my God. What is, okay, sorry, I can't go there yet. I forgot to do the bridge. We'll do the bridge first. All right, what does the masculine need to do to move toward his woman? Five of fire. Competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. 
Hmm, this could be internal conflict too. This could be the doubts, you know. I want it, I want it, I want it, but I don't know if I deserve it. I don't know if I can get it. I don't know if she'll listen. I don't know if I blew it. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, is what I'm getting from this card. All right. Feminine, what does she need to do to bridge the gap? Aw, celebrate a wedding, graduation, or birth announcement. You need to have more fun. All right, maybe some of you guys will accidentally run into each other out and about doing things. Celebrating, going to parties, having a good time. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But it's the Three of Cups, and that is celebration. And I feel like she's celebrating one way or the other. I really feel like things are coming to a head, and it's going to have to because a lot of the feminines are feeling this energy of wanting to move forward. This uh, new moon, full moon, spring equinox is all kind of like having cabin fever, and I feel like the feminine is tired of the stagnation and really wanting to up the game all the way around, I feel like, in all areas of her life. So the celebration card makes sense to me. All right, so what are the advice cards from the little uh, oracle deck here? We've got the first card is clean it up. That's what Spirit's telling you needs to happen. Okay, it's time to cut all those old ties, anything that's not serving you that's still lingering. It's time, guys. It's time, time, time. Clean up your mess. Clean it up. All right. And what's next after cleaning it up is regeneration. This card reminds me of a tower moment. It really does. Because it's like a volcano has gone off and the lava is just oozing everywhere. And it's a nine. It's like the last leg of the journey before... A new beginning so it's healing and it's it's like a tower moment but I don't feel like it was a huge tower it was more about a gushing a gushing you know perhaps there'll be communication or crying or or healing but it, it feels like a gushing of passionate feelings not so much water in this one this one is more about um, healing your it's like I, I keep getting fire with this I don't know why I'm getting fire uh like something burned so bright once and now has been just simmering like it just never truly, and perhaps because some of these masculines and feminines are, are well, most of them are old soulmates. They've had many lifetimes together. So their passion could have ignited or did ignite years and years or maybe lifetimes ago, but that fire never went out. It's just been smoldering and simmering and, and there, okay, and waiting for the next flare is what I'm feeling. I know it doesn't, I know it's not supposed to mean that, but psychically that is the way I feel like, like something was ignited in passion and then it's just been smoldering for years and years and maybe lifetimes. And now it's coming back to regenerate and to be ignited again. All right. The next card that we have is a number eight. It is the tribe. And this has been coming up a lot in some of my personal readings that I do for people, private readings. Um, I believe that, that this equinox and moon is going to start calling in our soul family, our soul tribe. We're going to start meeting new people and aligning ourselves with the people that vibrate at the same rate that we do. People who have the same energy that share the same hopes and dreams, and, and po they're probably soul family that we've known forever. All right, so then the next card is Never Ending Story. This is my Twin Flame card. Well, it's one of the Twin Flame cards in this deck. I mean, it's the Never Ending Story, right? Look at that 
angel on top or, or fairy, whatever she is. She's like, oh, here we go again. <laughs> you know, does he love me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves me, yeah. I don't know. I'm just hearing that song in my head. But it's like, ugh, when will this ever come to fruition? It's kind of like that, that feeling that time is not on your side. <laughs> that things are just, you almost feel like you're sitting on the edge of your seat, worried that you're going to miss the damn plane or the bus or the, the boat. It's like you keep checking your watch, you know the time is coming, and you're so afraid that you're missing that opportunity. All right? But then your outcome card here for advice from spirit is just no peace. Okay? This egg is still asleep, but it is waking up, and it's coming. It's coming. It's going to crack wide open, and then you're going to know peace. Be still and know that I am God. We have to remember to relinquish control. We can't be in control of the outcome. We can take steps toward what we're dreaming of and what we're wishing for and what we want. Definitely set your intentions. Make a list and work toward it. But you've got to release the outcome to the creator. Okay? Because otherwise you're just going to drive yourself crazy. We can't control this. We can guide it. We can gently lead it. But we cannot control it. And this is what I got all excited about. Because we've got justice on his mind. And we've got justice as the overall energy for today. And don't you know, we're in zero degrees Libra today. All about the scales of balance. So that is the highest and most energetic lesson or energy that we are under for the day. And that is awesome. Really, really awesome. And I want to tell you, out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 cards, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, half of, or 6. 6 of them are major arcana. So there is some big, big energy surrounding us right now. Okay, so I hope this reading is going to help you guys to kind of navigate, all right? New Beginnings is on her mind, and um, Bright, Happy Outcome with Stability and Fairness and Justice is on his mind. A decision has been made in his home. Fire has it been ignited, a new passionate beginning. Um, possibly she's getting news. Possibly she's feeling energy. She might be communicating in the 5D. But this is lit a passion in her to move forward. She went from a zero to a one. That's beautiful. Okay. And then in his heart space is strength. And hers is empress. So she is totally encompassing in her heart her divine feminine role. And he is gaining strength to move toward union. All right, he, in his hopes and fears, is success and victory. And hers is uh, taking advantage of this opportunity to reflect and become enlightened. And I really feel moon magic with this card. I don't know why, but I do. I feel like the feminines are going to set their intentions, make their lists, cut away things that don't serve them, and reach for the rainbow. And to get out of this dark, dense water, this muddy emotions that have been hanging out for so freaking long. <laughs> All right, so I did pull a couple of angel cards. I didn't pull them, actually. I let spirit pull them just by letting them fall out. Okay, so what do we got here? All right, I, I hate this card, but I think I understand what it means. Pay attention to the red flags, okay? And I'm going to explain here after we look at the rest of them. We have, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, express your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture, and past life relationship, you have known each other before. All right, pay attention to the red flags lately. Really feels to me like um, 
some of us have been manifesting or 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 the universe is giving us choices divine masculine versus you know um soulmate and i feel like you you're really given you're really being given the opportunity to take advantage of your free will in this contract that you have but i think that the universe is hoping you will choose correctly because pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you I really feel like that has to do with when your masculine shows up a lot of you may not you may not think that he's done the work you might look at him or listen to him he might show up because he's been showing up as pages in the beginning so you know if you haven't heard from him or talked to him or been with him in a long time they might be showing up a little shy and timid and, and maybe their words feel shallow or insincere. But I think it's nerves. I think it's nerves, you know. So pay attention to the red flags. Use your intuition. Don't make rash decisions, but give your love, give your relationship a chance. You know, the way I look at it is, you know, I've had my heart broke. I've had it split wide open. I've cried and and had over the same freaking thing for 20, 30, 40, I don't even know how many freaking years. More. Lifetimes. Lifetimes. All right? So I really think that meeting up with your masculine after such a long time is going to be stressful. And that's why you might end up in this... Uh, hangman position because you need a little time to go within and trust your instincts but spirit is cautioning you telling you don't automatically say no don't run because of fear because something really beautiful is coming out of this if you've got the determination and and strength to em Brace it when it comes. Give it a chance. I don't know. I look at it like this. I'm still crying. <laughs> I'm still having emotions. I'm still having feelings of separation and loss. And and I don't know. It's just, you know, why not say yes? Why not give it a chance, you know? You know, it just it's a it's like going to the casino and taking a gamble, but all the cards seem to be coming up in really, really good ways. So you're like, yeah, I feel the energy of a big win here. Feel the energy of a big win. Don't let fear get in the way of that. Okay? Because Lady Luck is on our side. Alright, so what is the last card? Oh my god, look what I drew. Hallelujah. Wedding. Wedding. Marriage is the union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect, and mutual commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to your well-founded faith in love's power. Continually breathe life in. Continually breathe life into that faith and love, dearest one. Yeah, you know, we're already married. Twin flames, it's like, it's a union that's good. It's you. You can't get away from it. You can't run away from yourself. Some of us have been doing it for years, though. So, yeah, this could, for some of us, be commitment, wedding vows in the future or the beginning. Some of this, I feel, is 5D, though. It's like, yeah, the union... <laughs> It happens in the 5D before it comes to the 3D. So perhaps the union has been sanctified. Um, and, and oaths and vows have been taken in the 5D. I'm not sure. Let me know. Excuse me, how this resonates. Okay? It's a beautiful card. And I'm, I'm holding space for each and every one of you to come into union with your true divine counterpart. All right, so this has been your daily love vibe. Uh, check the description box because I put little links in there sometimes. If I can find something good, I link it. If you see a link, click on it just to see if it's something that uh, you could take something away 
from it to help you in this energy. Okay, so I love you, I love you, I love you. Watch for more videos. They're going to be coming up over the next couple of days. Um, I just didn't even do the weekly Zodiac. We did the 8th through the 15th, and this is like the 20th. So we're just going to move forward. We're kind of skipped a week, and I apologize. They came up late. Um, but I'm going to do the Zodiacs. I will have them out by Friday. That will be the 22nd. And they will be from the 22nd to the 29th. Okay? Love and light, guys. And please, if you like the video, hit like. If you haven't subscribed already and you come to watch my videos. Because, you know, my statistics say I'm getting a lot more views than I'm getting subscriptions. Um... So hopefully that will change and each and every one of you can help with that just by holding space and saying prayers. If you'd like to donate to the channel so that there are some, um, a little bit of floating money for new decks, which, oh, I forgot. I've gotten some new decks. I'm going to do pick a pile card readings before Friday too. So watch for all these new videos that will be coming out. I love you guys. Oh, God, I keep forgetting shit. Also, when I do these pick a pile readings, why don't you make some suggestions in the description or the comment section letting me know what would be a good topic for a pick a card reading? All right, I've brainstormed a few, but um, I would like to hear what you would like to have on this channel because, after all, I created it for you. Okay. Love and light, and I will see you tomorrow. Please don't forget your moon magic. If you can, go out under the stars, under that moon. Breathe in that energy and just talk with your guides, okay? I love you, love you, love you. And I am so grateful that you are in my life and on my channel. Have a great day.